So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 in your virtual box. So before that you need to have three things ready. First one virtual box obviously. The second one Windows 11 ISO file. And the third one patience because it's going to take a lot of time because we are going to install the whole operating system. And you can download Windows 11 ISO from the description link if you haven't. Okay and after that just follow me so first open virtual box then click on this new and you need to name it let's type windows 11 and it auto recognizes the version c when you type the name so just select it windows 11 64 bit and you can change your machine folder This is where your installations will be installed. I mean your main virtual machine. So I'm gonna select this here in this folder. And that's all. Just click on next. And this is actually the RAM. So you can put 4 GB RAM. This is the default one 4096 MB. But if you wanna increase it you can go up to this. This red mark. Okay. To know the exact RAM you can just open your calculator and multiply 1024 by how much RAM you want. Let's say I want to put 8 GB RAM. So the exact MB would be like this 8192 MB. So you need to put 8192 MB and this is the 8 GB RAM. Okay that's how you set this memory size okay so the next one is this okay keep it as it is create a virtual hard disk now then click on create and yeah the default one virtual disk image the next and this is actually your storage your main memory you can choose fixed size or dynamically allocated you can read it here but i always choose fixed size you can just set your size and it will create that much of installation part I mean the storage so I'm gonna put let's say 30 GB okay 30 GB for this Windows 11 installation and that's all just click on create and it will start creating the virtual hard disk as it says so you need to wait for this this much of time okay but no worries let's just finish this and move on to the next step and it's done see so after this step you need to go to settings just click on that gear icon and what is it it's doing something okay forget about that you can again rename it if you want and then you can go to advanced just select bi-directional to both of this shared clipboard and drag and drop this means that you can copy your files from main machine to your virtual box okay and after that nothing here go to system and as we already set memory for this RAM you can change it if you want from here then go to processor and select up to this this red mark okay so I have 12 CPUs in my main machine so it's accepting up to 6 okay after that go to display and you can choose your video memory that means your GPU and if you click on this enable 3d acceleration it will increase it up to 256 MB see see okay so after that uh, there is nothing here okay go to storage and click on this empty okay then you need to go here this CD 
or whatever the icon is click on that and you need to choose your ISO file okay so choose your ISO file does 11 ISO file okay go to that location so I set in this location I guess yeah see windows 11 english this is the iso file just select it click on open and it has been selected here as you can see so after that just go to audio and this is just for mic audio input right this is output means speakers and input means your microphone and that's all i guess yep now just click on OK and that's it. So our setup has been done or is completed in this virtual box. Now we need to install Windows 11. So for that go to start button because now we need to actually install the Windows 11. So it's starting virtual machine. okay so if you see something like this you need to just close this virtual machine okay power up the machine go to settings then go to system i guess and here in the system just disable this okay disable this and try it again this is just trial and error because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work with that UEFI whatever the setting is and it should work see okay so here on this screen you need to press shift plus F10 it will open the command prompt from here you need to type reg edit this is registry editor just type it and click enter okay so watch this carefully okay so from here you need to go to hkey local machine then go to system and here setup so right click on this setup and go to new then key and type lab config okay type exactly like this then just select lab config and under this I mean on this empty area right click on the new then select this D word 32 bit value and you need to type some key values here so the first one is bypass EPM check ok type exactly like this then the second one second one is this bypass secure boot check ok and the third one is bypass RAM check okay and just open one by one and put value one okay just open one by one put value one for each of these each of these keys or values whatever it is so yeah we are done i guess so just do this exactly I mean just type these exact names bypass tpm check bypass secure boot check bypass ram check and the value should be 111 for all of this okay so you can just close this registry editor and then type exit exit to exit from this cmd and press enter and that's all now you can just start installation this windows 11 and it should not give 
that error this pc can't run windows 11 but let's see i don't have product key and just select the version that you want to install i want to install windows 11 pro next and yes see we just bypass the windows 11 system requirements okay so now you can just install windows 11 like you normally do and you can just click on this upgrade install windows and keep file settings application custom install windows and okay so i'm going to select this and this is the storage storage device that we created then click on next and now you just need to wait So we are at the end of this installation process and there you go see so just select everything that you want to select according to the instructions and you are good to go. Finally, huh. after a million years, we finally able to install Windows 11 in our virtual box without any errors if you follow me correctly. Okay, so that's it. It is what it is. If this works for you, let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for more helpful videos. Bye bye.